Good evening, everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope all is well. For me, it's been a great day. The weather's gorgeous. Got the doors and the windows open, letting my house air out. And that's always a good thing. But I had a little bit of money. So I thought, well, now's as good a time as any to get this money stuffed away so I don't go storm spend it on something that I don't need. Don't you hate when that happens? I do, because I always regret it. So, let's get down here and put away this little bit of money I got instead of putting it in my wallet and then spend it. So, let's get you down here. What do y'all think about my new giant mouse pad? This thing goes all the way over to here. It's huge. I love it. All right. Get some glasses so we can see what we're doing. First off is sweet treats. We're going to color in three of these. $2 a piece for $6. Get everything situated. See, I should have done had these colors picked out, but I didn't. Let's try to find some that ain't been used that look like pretty colors. Might not go so well together, but you know what? I don't care. I really don't. We're going to do this one. We're going to color in this one because I have no idea what color this is. Looks brown. I think it is or gold not real sure hey it could be a Werther's original candy dun, 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 dun. now we're gonna color the inside of it orange or some kind of orange looking color There's one. Uh, here we go with number two. In the middle. I don't like this color. Reminds me of a gray color. Who wants to eat gray candy? I don't. But I already started it. So it is what it is. Um, this one's kind of green. There we go. Um, what are we going to color the center of it? This one don't look like it's been used very much. No, I don't like that. Purple. We're going to use purple. It doesn't show up very good for purple. All right. Well, we got the we got these three colored. So I reckon that's all that matters. And yes, my coloring sucks, but that's okay. A two-year-old could probably do better, but that's all right. Those are all done. Six dollars going into sweet treats. Where's my pen? 
There's my pinion. Six dollars. Gives me forty seven. My humming irritates y'all. I'm sorry. I really am. All right, there's ten, twenty five, thirty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Forty-seven dollars in sweet treats. So I only need one, two, three, four, five more. Having that one done. And then I will have saved $57. We're going to put this one back where it goes so I don't forget. Because I'm just as apt to do that as to not. Alright. That one is done. I got $3 in change. We're going to add to this to my dime challenge. Um, let's see. Let's pick a color. We're going to. We already got purple started. We haven't used this pink. I don't think. Nope. So we're going to use this one. Three dollars. We're going to add that to this jar right here. There we go. I about got that one filled up. Sucker getting heavy, that's for sure. Alrighty. Now we got to find the tracker. Good thing I know where it's at, huh? Three dollars went in. Gives me a total of thirty-five dollars and sixty cents on this dime challenge. So that means I now have twenty-six dollars and ninety cents in that jar. The rest of it's in this envelope. Twenty-six ninety in the jar. All right, that one's done. Now then, back to this one. Three dollars. We're going to color in one of these little... We're going to color in these blueberries. Let's see. Are blueberries actually blue or are they purple? We're going to color them what I think they look like. And it probably ain't right. But that's all right. Because it's me doing it. And this little challenge is from Tracy over at Golden Girl Budgets. If y'all haven't checked out her Etsy shop, y'all really need to go check it out. She got some cute little savings on there. Now I do need a purple. A dark purple. That ain't purple. That's the one I just put back in there. Is that purple? Well, it says violet. So that's what we're going to use to color in this middle part. All right. Now we got that done. Three dollars going in. And that will give me a total of forty dollars. A 
Because I've been rolling the dice on this. 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, there's 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 40. $40. One more, and I'll have that first one done. Hey, I got a question to ask. When these little challenges come, like three to a sheet, I'll show you the, the one that I'm fixing to do. Let me go to it first. Okay, this one. This is from Cindy Cat Budgets. And it's got three of them. The first one is 35. The second one is 50. The third one is $75. Do you consider each one of these a single challenge? Or do you consider all of them one and it's not finished until you've got them all done? Y'all let me know what y'all say. Because I only need two more on this one. $10. And this one will be done. Alrighty. Where's them markers? There's five for that. Oh no. I still had one more. Well, I think I still got one more to go. Or else I just forgot to color it. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. We'll see how much I got in here. And then that'll tell me if I forgot to color one in. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 45, 50, 60, 25, 30. I did forget to color that one in. Yep, I did. I was playing around with this marker the other day, and I just didn't color him in all the way. All right, so that one is done. So now, like I said, this part of her three combo is done. So do you consider that the challenge done or not done until the other two are completed? All right, so we're going to add $10, making $35, and I already counted it. So now we'll start the next one. We'll move this one back behind. And now we're going to do Fada's Day. And it gets $5. So we're going to color in the tie. Alright. $5 going into Fada's Day. Gives me a total of 50. He's going to be so surprised, y'all, because he don't ever watch these videos, so he won't even know. And this will be a nice surprise for him. So there's 10, 25, 35, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 50. $50 in Fada's Day. All right, that's all I got for now. It's just a simple little deal. Something to make another little video right quick with. Oh, let me get y'all back up here where I can see y'all. There y'all are. Get the glasses off. Now, I don't do a whole lot of budget budgeting. Well, I don't budget, period. There is a difference between budgeting and saving. I save. 
have not figured out the budgeting thing yet, so I just do what comes easy for me, and saving is easy for me. Sitting down and writing out all my bills, or our bills, and all that stuff. Hmm. As long as the bills are paid, I can flip a switch and the electric comes on. I know the bill got paid. <laughs> so I'm, I'm good with that. I'll stick with just saving. But for all the, the budgeters that I have, subscribe to your channels and you have subscribed to mine i really appreciate it i don't have a lot of these videos yet but i am working on it my videos consist of mostly cooking and i know i've probably had a few uh, people that do the budgeting videos and stuff like that join thinking that's what i do and then find out that that's not all i do uh, it's hardly any of what i do but I am trying to get a little more involved in the money saving part of it because I enjoy it. I think it's fun. Uh, and as I say before, it holds me a little more accountable and happening to save the money for something that I want. I really weigh it out now as to how badly I want it or do I even really need it? before I go and spend that money because sometimes it takes a little bit to save that money up and I'm one of these people if I pick something up in the store that I want if I walk around with it too off too long yeah I'll put it back I won't get it so saving money like this makes me a little bit more leery of just going out and buying something just because it caught my eye and a lot of people do that and that's how we get in debt and I'm thankful that I'm not, and I, I'm truly grateful for that. But this is it for now. If you're new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, I sincerely hope that you'll do so. But just know that if you do, most of my videos are cooking right now, but I'm trying to change that. Um, if you've been with me all the, long, all the while, thank you so much for your returning day after day. I deeply appreciate it. I'm at 601 subscribers now, and I'm just elated over that. It just thrills my soul. Uh, I need 421 watch hours, I think, having all the watch hours. Who would have knew I'd get the watch hours before I get all the subscribers that I need? <laughs> <laughs> am I looking to get rich off of YouTube? No, ma'am, I am not. But I am having fun. I really do enjoy doing this. But if you're new to my channel and you haven't yet subscribed, I sincerely hope that you will give me a chance. Subscribe to my channel. Give it a week. After a week, if you don't like what you're seeing, you go unsubscribe. Do I want you to unsubscribe? Nope, I don't. But I, I wouldn't force anybody to join my channel. Or I wouldn't even try to force you to. But I do appreciate it. But with that, I will say good evening. God bless. Take care. And until we meet here again tomorrow, I'll be cooking something. I won't have any money to save just yet. But I'll be cooking something. Y'all have a blessed evening. Take care.